In this video, I'd like to give you a quick introduction of the Decent Espresso Machine, our DE1 model, uh, show you how it's made and quickly how it works. Now, the idea behind this espresso machine is that we took a professional machine, the kind of thing you'd find in the top coffee shops, and we shrunk it down. We also used a lot of advanced computer technology to try and make it easier to make the kind of shot you'd get in just an amazing place. So finally, that's the goal, is to make really a top-end espresso machine for the home or for the professional barista at home. To that end, what we've done is we've put a computer inside here and we've developed our own water mixing technology to come up with perfectly mixed water for the temperature that you're going for to make espresso. That's a really new technology that's allowed us to shrink the body size and also lower the price quite a bit. We're using a tablet to make it easier to make espresso to tell you what's going on um, and to give you insights on how you could make your espresso better. Uh, the machine itself is made of metal. This here is the drip tray and it's made of ceramic and our water tank in the back is also made of ceramic. Let me show you how you make an espresso and the gear I've got here, uh, most of this stuff is stuff that we've developed ourselves uh, in the process of trying to make espresso as consistent and easy to learn because it's, it's really frustrating to buy nice gear and then make lousy espresso at home. So this right here is called a porta filter and this is called a basket and this is where the coffee grinds go and typically it's called a dose. So we're going to grind into our porta filter and then afterwards we're going to tamp it and then put it in here. That's the first step in making espresso. Now uh, this is our grinder, it's a professional grade grinder. You can use ours or any other grinder that you like. In front of it, you've probably never seen anything like this. This is something that we sell, which is a grinding scale that goes in front of most professional grinders. And so what I do is I mount it there. I use something called a funnel so we don't spill. What this grinding scale does is it allows you to weigh the dose as it's going into it. Now, virtually every grinder now available uses a timer to stop the dose. The problem with that is time isn't actually useful. What you want to know is that you put the dose weight that you intended to. In my case, I'm doing a 16 grams of coffee dose. It's going in this espresso machine and I'm putting twice as much water into a cup, I'm making a 32 gram espresso with 16 grams of coffee. Um, and that sort of recipe is very common. So what I'm going to do here, you can't see it, but it says zero grams, and I'm going to turn the grinder on, and I'm just going to stop it when it hits 16 grams. So there's my coffee grinds, and it's kind of a big heap. You give it a little shake to even it out, and then you, Tap, 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 like so, which gives you an even mount. Now it needs to get compacted, which is called tamping. This here is our tamping cradle, which we also sell to make it easy. So what you do is put it there. This is our tamper, which is made to fit inside our baskets, and it fits very precisely and straight up and down. It also has a spring, so it tamps exactly the right amount. So I tamp like so, lift it up, put that back, and now I've got a coffee puck that's ready to be made. You put it in, like so, and the second handle is our innovation. It makes it easy to pull this together like that. On other machines, you usually have to put your hand on the side in order to pull together, and this is just a lot easier. Now, in this case, I'm making a latte, so I'm getting a big one, like that, and I just tap on the screen the big espresso button. Now, to turn it off, you can tap anywhere on the screen. It's essentially a big eight inch button. At each step in designing this machine, we had a decision to make whether we wanted the espresso to be really fast or to be really good. And almost everybody out there goes for fast, like I need my coffee fast. So we went for really good. What just happened now for a few seconds is the water circulated up to here until it was exactly the right temperature. And then it was the right temperature, you heard a click, water went in, and we're currently pre-infusing, which is trickling water into the coffee puck to moisten it fully. Uh, and then once the puck was completely even, we detect that, raise the pressure, and now do an espresso, which is what's happening right now.
Now I would like to do a shot that is 35 seconds long, which is a fairly standard shot, and I hit off. I've made an espresso. So that's what that looks like there. Next, I'm gonna steam milk and we make our own milk jugs. And the reason we do is because we put measurement lines in it to help you get the right amount of milk to the right amount of coffee. So we make two different kinds. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend you get this spout. This makes it much easier to pour basic latte art. This is our competition spout, which we designed with a bunch of competition latte artists and it takes more skill, but it gives you more precise latte art. A really standard latte would be about 30 milliliters of espresso with six ounces or 200 milliliters of milk. And what I'm gonna do is pour milk into this jug. So there's my 200 milliliters there. And you'll hear this a lot, something else we made, we made our own digital thermometer. And the reason we made one is so that it knows to beep at the right point when your milk is the temperature that's appropriate for espresso. So we've made it 60, 65, or 70. There's a Fahrenheit version that's 140, 150, 160 Fahrenheit. And uh, there's a little clip there that puts it in the right position, like so. So, like that. At this point, I don't know if you can see in the camera angle. I'm going to try and steam. It's going to be a little awkward with the camera there, but let's see what we can do. So I hold it like that. And the reason I do that is I want the steam to hit the milk jug at an angle and create a whirlpool. To cause steam to start, you just tap steam. And I've got a very strong whirlpool going on here. So when I heard the beep, I hit the screen. Again, anywhere on the screen, we'll turn it off. And I don't know if you can see, but this is really nice foam. It's really silky. Uh, there are no large bubbles. It was really effortless to make that level of quality of steam. And that's really hard, usually, but not with this machine. Now, one of the reasons that the steam turns out so well is that our steam is pretty unusual. We um, make steam at 170 degrees Celsius. It's really hot. A normal steamer would be doing about 130 Celsius. Um, and we only make about, we only use about half the water that a normal steam would use. So we dilute your milk less and we also have more powerful steam which helps make really uh, fine bubbles. I will warn you that I'm not a latte art god. So let's see how this goes. Uh, hopefully I won't embarrass myself. So I just stir it a little bit like that to keep the bubbles in, and then I pour in. Now I've already measured how much milk, so hopefully it'll be about the right amount. I stop for a second, and there we go. So some sort of little fern-like thing is now appearing on the top of this drink, and you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now go find your spouse or partner and give them a coffee and surprise them. That's the decent espresso machine.